All slice of independence, you can see his approval rating sitting at 36% now. In April, it was over 50. And that's, they're the, maybe they're calling them the competency voters. They actually, they react to what's happening. They're not happy with how COVID's going. Whether it's Biden's fault or not, he's the guy at the wheel. It's a nightmare number for the White House. I talked with a Republican strategist about this whole situation yesterday. And what that person said is that Afghanistan, that horror in a vacuum, probably would not have significantly damaged Biden's poll numbers the way we've seen them change over the last few months. But the point that this particular strategist made is that it's the totality of everything that's happened since April. It's COVID, it's inflation, there's some evidence voters are concerned about the immigration system, and it gives Republicans an opening to argue that things are spiraling out of control for the White House. Whether or not that's accurate, this number kind of tells you what you need to know, at least in terms of the way that this administration administration and this White House are communicating to the American people and to these persuadable independents how exactly they're governing and their ability to shape circumstances rather than be shaped by them.